Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Eddie and I am going to talk to you about financially speaking and mathematically speaking about investing your cash, our cash, such as this $50 bill to make it more in dividend stocks. And what is a dividend stock and how do dividend stocks work? And I'm going to give you all the details and information regarding this. Now, when investors invest in stocks or dividend stocks, we don't just invest in stocks. We actually own a piece of the corporation. Now, depending on the amount of shares that the investor owns, then if we own a couple of shares, we own a tiny part of the corporation or a tiny percent of the corporation or corporations. Now, if the investor owns a lot of shares or a lot of stock from a corporation or corporation, this means that the investor owns a bigger part of the corporation, a bigger percent. And also the investor is entitled to receive a dividend payment every three months. And this is because the shareholders owners of the corporations through stock when the corporations or businesses sell their products to generate cash so the more shares we own the more cash the corporation will pay us in dividend payment this depends on in the corporations because there's corporations that pay every month others every three months and other corporations pay no dividends at all. Now, with dividend stocks, actually, we can make money through capital gains, but we have to sell the stock, and we also make money through generating cash by getting a dividend payment every three months, and we don't have to sell our shares. Investing in dividend stocks, it's a great asset investment. And for me, it's one of the best stocks to buy. Yes, investing in dividend stock is one of the best assets we can invest our money in because it generates us cash. Now, it is one of the best assets to invest in? Yes, in my opinion, because it generates cash without even having to sell our shares. And we can invest long term. This is a great asset investment. Not only from one corporation, but we can have several corporations that will pay us a dividend payment every three months. And the more shares we buy, the more cash we're going to generate. For instance, I'm gonna give you an example as to how do dividend stocks work. For instance, Chevron, Apple and Coca-Cola, yes, there are more corporations that pay dividend, but I'm giving you an example with this three. They all pay 
a different amount of dividend. If this company would pay $1.50 per share to the dividend shareholder. I'm giving you an example with Apple Technology Company Corporation, which is a huge brand worldwide and millions of people in the world buy this product including myself yes yeah, millions of people in the world buy the apple product now when people buy the products from from apple or from the apple stores this means that the corporation is making sales this generates cash to the corporation The accountants that work in the Apple Corporation, they have to go in the computer system. They see the Apple's Corporation's account. They have to see the income statement the, and the balance sheet to see how much cash the corporation has made for selling the products. Once they see the amount of cash that the corporation has made or generated during that period of time before those three months what they see next is during that period of time of three months now they look at what the company owes this is the debt debt means what the company owes the corporation has to pay all its debt everything that the company owes this is called expenses when they pay what the company owes the cash left this is called the profit or profit and that profit of cash it's set aside by the accountants once they set aside that cash, which means that is where the dividend payment to the shareholders will come from. Now, the company has to generate enough cash to be able to pay all the shareholders, no matter how many shares or stocks the investor owns. Now, the corporation has to pay all the shareholders from one share to the hundreds to thousands and millions of shares. Every three months, the investors have to get paid their dividend payment in their accounts or their investment accounts. Now, as we all know, there are millions of investors all over the world. That own stocks or dividend stocks from one share or one stock to Hundreds, thousands, and even millions of shares or stocks.
from one corporation, but also from many others. The way to know about how much money you're gonna receive, you just go in your account, and then right where it says cash balance or cash, that is where you can see how much money you receive as a dividend payment. And you can do as you want with, the, with that dividend payment. It's yours, it's your cash. Now, the investor has a choice to reinvest all the money back in the corporation to buy more shares, or the investor can choose to keep half of the money for the investor's needs and half of the other money to reinvest back in the corporation to buy more shares. This will generate the investor more cash in the following three months. So it's all up to the investors what the investors want to do with their money. So as you can see how much cash the investors are making. The ones that have hundreds, thousands, even millions of shares that they own from just Apple stock. Imagine the amount of cash investors are making every three months. Now, let's say that the investor owns one share of Apple stock. That investor will be deposited by the corporation of Apple since they're paying $1.50 $1.50 will be deposited in the shareholder's account for holding one share. Now, this is $1.50 every three months. A year, it comes up to $6. Now, imagine if that shareholder owns 10,000 shares of Apple stock at $1.50. This comes up to $15,000 every three months. A year, it will be $60,000. Now, let's say that the investor owns 500,000 shares or stocks of Apple. That investor is making every three months at a dollar fifty dividend payment seven hundred fifty thousand dollars every three months a year this is three million dollars now let's say that the investor owns a million shares of Apple stock. That investor is making every three months at a dollar fifty dividend payment of one million five hundred thousand dollars. every three months and a year, this will come up to $6 million. Now, let's say that the investors reinvested their money or the dividend payment back in the corporation to buy more shares. This will generate 
the investor even more cash deposited in their accounts or in our accounts. every three months. Just imagine that with all this money being reinvested back in the corporation to buy more shares. This will generate that investor more cash in the following three months. And even a year. So, for instance, I'm gonna give you an example of how I came up with the math. This numbers in in dividend payments. Now, if you multiply 10,000 shares of Apple stock times a dollar 50, this equals to a total amount of every 3 months $15,000. Now, $15,000 times 4 equals $60,000. Now, how did I come up with the number 4? Because the corporations pay every three months and this is four times a year so this is how i came up with the number four and this is how i came up with this numbers shares the dividend payment and the amount of money that the investor will be paid for owning this amount of shares or even more and this is just with this amount of shares this is not counting the reinvesting back of dividends in the corporation to buy more shares to generate even more cash. If an investor owns all this amount of shares from Apple, let's say 10,000, 500,000, even a million or more, and the investor is generating all this cash every three months, imagine investors also own, because they do in the world, they not only own Apple stock, but also stocks from other corporations such as Chevron, Coca-Cola, Nike, and many others. So imagine the amount of cash these investors are generating every three months. It's huge amounts of money or of cash that these investors are generating. Now imagine that these investors reinvest their dividend payment back in the corporation to buy more shares. This means in the following three months, more cash will be generated and more cash will be deposited in the investor's accounts. Now, 
If you don't think this is a fact, well, it is. Because if you invest in one dividend stock, then you hold it for a period of three months or a little longer, then you will see in your account if you got deposited dividends now. This is the way you find out how many more shares you bought with the reinvestment of your money. You can go in your account, in your portfolio, right next to the company, there's gonna be a little box that says quantity, and that will show the amount of shares you have or own. Because if you have 10 shares before, the other part of the shares is the amount of shares you have bought because of dividend reinvestment back in the corporation to buy more shares. Now, this is the information I wanted to share with you regarding what is a dividend stock and how do dividend stocks work. Now, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you saw value and like video, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.